All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of Mission for Vision. Today, we repaint the boat. Now we are going to be repainting my 1974 Lund 12 foot aluminum boat. Now, originally from Lund, this came in a red and seafoam green inside color scheme. And originally my grandpa painted this to be a duck boat. He said he bought it as green as a duck boat and he just, all he did was touch it up. Let's get into it. So, so first things first, we got the trailer done. If you guys haven't seen that video, check it out. Uh, that was part two of boat restoration. Once we got the trailer done, it was time for the boat. Now we picked up the boat, picked it up off the grass, put it on, and uh, I washed this thing down very thoroughly. It, it was just gross. I had to coat the trailer in a second coat because it just stained it. It was so gross. Once we got that all cleaned up, it was time to strip the old paint off. Now, using this, we used some citrus strip gel stuff. I would highly recommend it. It worked extremely well. And that took a little while to actually do its magic. But once that was all done, we wire wheeled it off or use elbow grease to get it off. And the elbow grease got to nice bare skin aluminum, as you can see on the bottom here. This is what scrubbing it off looks like. It's very shiny. There was a lot of work involved in removing the paint, but after all the paint was gone, that was when we were actually able to start on some of this more fun painting stuff. I wanted to go with this paint scheme, this black, silver, and white paint scheme, because I, I, I like it a lot. You'll notice the inside is a little bit whiter than gray. Um, now, I wanted gray, but unfortunately, uh, I couldn't really find a color that I enjoyed. That was this enamel paint. Uh, so the closest thing I could get was Ford gray. So this stuff still looks nice. It still doesn't heat up in the sun and it doesn't kill my camera exposure. So I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with that. For the outside, we use the exact same paint that we used on the trailer. It's that Rust-Oleum industrial grade enamel stuff. And I gotta say that stuff turned out amazing. We taped up the sides. I tried brushing the stuff on it. It turned out like crap. So then I ended up having to break out the roller and use a roller on it. And that got it to where I like it like this. Where there is paint is pretty much exactly how the brand new 2019 models are. And same with how this one left the factory back in the day. It covers this front area here and it also covers the transom in the back. It looks really nice, I gotta say. So once the paint was on, we needed protective coating on the aluminum so the aluminum wouldn't oxidize and become dull. So I used uh, two coats of Rust-Oleum, it's clear gloss uh, spray paint. And then obviously we got the registration on later and we saved the sticker. It looks a lot different. I really like this look and uh, should last for a long time to come. So what else All do right, I want to yeah. say? What else do I want to say? Yes, yes, yes. What else am I missing? Oh, yeah. An interesting fact is when we were stripping off the paint, we actually found some Minnesota DNR stickers on the boat. So that leads me to believe that the previous owners of this boat was the state of Minnesota, which is kind of cool. So this boat's probably seen a lot. It's probably done a lot. Just pretty interesting, I thought. In one of the future videos, we will also be adding a deck up here on the inside and adding some hatches and some few compartments in there. So if you guys wanna see that, make sure you hit that subscribe button, tap that like button. This was super, super fun project to do. I gotta give a huge shout out to uh, Julian, uh, also Isaac. Super awesome that I got a lot of help and support on this project and I definitely couldn't have done it alone, so. So overall, painting the boat, mission complete. 